Our next speaker is Amr Al Azam from the Shawnee, Shawnee State University, here representing the Day After Project. So the day after Heritage Protection Initiative, or TDA, was established essentially to help protect this cultural heritage as part of its portfolio of activities. We are a small NGO. It's a Syrian NGO run entirely by Syrians. And we try to provide an institutional framework or support for non-state actors, network activists, um, just people on the ground who are working on documentation and preservation of Syrian cultural heritage, primarily in areas outside regime control. Um, the uh, TDA, uh, as part of its work, is it the green one? Uh, produces uh, regular reports um, on the state of cultural heritage sites and monuments. Uh, these include rapid assessment and damage reports due to bombing, looting, and other violations. Uh, TDA-HPI also established the Site Monitors Project in the spring of 2015, uh, and this is uh, based around a network of local archaeologists, museum curators, and activists who act as these site monitors. I can tell you at the moment we have uh, anywhere between 30 and 40 uh, people in different parts of Syria uh, working with us. And uh, the reason why the numbers fluctuate is because some of them leave, some of them have to uh, are unable to work anymore, and that's why there's this... Um, uh, fluctuation. Um, the uh, TDI, TDA HPI supports the site monitors essentially by providing training and technical expertise through our contacts with professionals and institutions. And these uh, have included in the past uh, Penn Culture Heritage Center and currently we're working with ASOR. Um, the site monitors that uh, work with us uh, uh, document violations and looting of cultural heritage sites as I mentioned, outside uh, regime control, and these include sites controlled by Daesh, ISIS. They document war damage caused by the ongoing conflict, and they track the sale and transport of looted antiquities, and they also implement small-scale intervention preservation projects. And we have at least three projects on the way to be begun in 2016, again, in our partnership with ASOR. Um, by supporting us, you will essentially help support those working and active on the ground preserving this cultural heritage in Syria. These are the heroes of our story, really. It's not me, it's those guys inside. And uh, by uh, receiving this support, essentially, we then are able to provide subsistence payments to these people who are working on the ground so they can continue to do their work, uh, provide the training that they uh, need from time to time, and give them the equipment that they also need in order to perform their activities. And finally, to obviously be able to implement some of these uh, small scale projects. In particular, for example, the uh, museum at Mara, having suffered the terrible uh, bombardment of the, the barrel bombing in June 16, now needs to be winterized, otherwise it is in further risk of Collapse. Thank you. <laughs>